Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about this American Rotary 8030. It's a rotary phase converter to take our single phase power and be able to make the Haas ST10 lathe run on the three phase power that it needs to run correctly. So we talked to our electrician and there's not three phase power already on site and we looked into it and he said it was going to be probably about a hundred thousand dollars to actually get three phase ran to our building so that obviously wasn't going to work so a hundred thousand dollars versus three thousand for this rotary phase converter choice is pretty obvious so i'm going to get this unpackaged and we'll take a look at it i'm not going to go over a whole lot of the wiring just because you should always consult your local certified electrician for that so uh, I will show you guys what it looks like so this here's how it comes on a pallet this came FedEx freight two boxes so my initial thoughts are this thing's absolutely massive it's got two lifting lugs on it Truck freight is always so rough with anything they ship. So I was going to grab the forklift, but I think it'll be easier actually just to grab my small engine crane that I have, engine hoist. And I'm going to pull this side cover off and see what our connections look like. Okay, so we got nine wires here. Nine wires, and each of them are actually labeled one through nine. Here's what the actual panel looks like. I'm going to pop these screws off, see what it looks like inside. Some pretty serious capacitors. Okay, so they did give me rubber feet that go on the bottom of the idler. It said specifically in the instructions, do not bolt it to the ground or anything else because that could mess up the bearings. So I'm gonna get these feet put on. Yep. They also gave me a cup koozie and a key tag. So that's pretty cool. So this here is gonna be whatever surge protector they recommended that we have. Stuff's definitely really well packaged. Okay, so it is the next day. Got everything all unpackaged, unboxed. I ended up getting all my electrical ran. I got all the conduit ran. Everything hooked up for this phase converter. It's all hooked up to the lathe. Um, did take some time running all of the conduit, running all the wire. So like I said before, this isn't going to be an electrical how-to video, just because you should probably already know how to do that. Um, it's pretty simple. So I ran a 100 amp breaker, which is what is called for in the manual. I ran some one aught cable down to the phase converter. And from there, I ran some six gauge to the ST10. So everything's wired. 
the actual idler, the control panel, everything. So I'm going to show you guys how it actually sounds. I shut off all the fans and everything else in the shop so you could hear how quiet this thing is. With everything else running, you can't even tell it's on. <laughs> I don't know how that sounds on the camera, but with everything else in the shop running, you're not going to hear this thing run. It's pretty quiet, so pretty happy with it. Simple install. It was pretty easy to get everything wired up. It was just time consuming, so getting all the conduit ran, all that stuff. Um, pretty excited to be able to run a three-phase lathe in my shop, so that's about it. And then to shut it off, just hit the stop button. My experience with ordering from American Rotary has been great. The Rotary showed up on a FedEx truck, dropped it off. Like you saw, I uncrated it and Everything was really clear in the instructions. Uh, the diagrams were clear, even down to the wires coming out of the motor, out of the idler, were zip tied together for what what wires need to be connected to what. Um, just the small details. It's a really high quality piece of equipment. I was able to order this online, even with everything that's going on. They got it to me within, I think a day or two of actually ordering it. Uh, they had it in stock, ready to ship out. So, got some pretty fast shipping on it. And I mean, this thing's so far, I know I just got it all hooked up, but perfect solution for my issue of not having three phase power here. I'm able to get this ST10 back up and running, making some parts, so pretty excited about that but that's gonna wrap up the video I know that this wasn't a how-to video didn't show a lot of all the electrical wiring and stuff just because you're gonna have to kind of do that on your own it's gonna be different for wherever you're installing this whatever type of building you're putting it in um, this was just more to go over some of the unboxing what you get when you order it if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos to come, and I'll catch you next time. Later.